It starts with you. The game starts with your, your, what you do. We hear that, right? What you do is what, what matters, right? But what affects what we do? How do we shift from being a victim to being powerful? You have to control your internal emotional state, right? And I know some people are like, well, I don't understand this. Well, never mind. So it doesn't matter. So let's give her a big round of applause. All right, so the next phase is this. Now there's images and there's a few other things I, I could teach, but I'm going to run out of time. So I want to go. Now let me ask this question. If I was able to look at a stressed out person walking into my office, and I had the ability to, with confidence, always be in a good emotional state, and secondly, be able to completely assess their emotional state and know how to move them out of that emotional state, would that be practical for dentistry? Yes or no? Would that be practical for gaining rapport with that person? Yeah, guess what? Stressed out, scared people don't buy. They're, they can't make, or let me put it this way, stressed out, scared people can't make good decisions, right? So if we're looking to open up filters so we can properly educate them so they can make the right decision that's best for themselves, how do we do that? We have to find a way to make them feel good, make them trust us, right? So what we're going to move into now is the second half of this, which is how do we move from, uh, from I got power over myself, I'm controlling my emotional state, to now, how do I, how, you mean I can instantly connect with just about anybody within a matter of 10 seconds or less without ever saying a word? Would that be cool, yes or no? Absolutely, okay, watch. Let me, um, let me ask a couple questions. Um, oh, all right, so let me ask some team members here. How do you gain rapport with people? Oh, you touch them? Like, they walk in, you're like, hey, Mr. Clark, we've been so waiting for you. Ah, that's so cool. Yeah, we touch them. Um, how many people in the room don't like being touched? Like, from strangers? Okay, there's a small percentage, yeah. Yeah, from strangers. <laughs> like, I totally love being touched. Would you come over here? <laughs> um, you're, you're, you're not wrong. You're right. Okay, how else do we gain rapport? But see, like, here's part of my thing. I'll, I'll teach you something. Lacey? There's, it's funny, because someone on the break goes, hey, you're going to talk about gaining rapport. I have not liked you in nine years, right? I'm like, oh, dude, that was by design. I didn't want you to like me, you know? It was on purpose. Oh, God. People are like, he, they didn't like him for nine years. They're writing the notes down. Just relax. All the action's up here. It's not in your notes. Um, John, I swear, I'm so behaving myself right now. I'm like filtering myself. God, I have so many jokes that I'd be like, it's like, yeah, I can't say it. Okay, um, so how would you gain rapport? How would you gain rapport with someone? Just, it, it's, there's no wrong answers, just, just wrong people. Okay, fine. who said that? You find something in common, right? Okay, how do you do that, though? You talk about stuff. Okay, talk about the weather. Hey, man, how's the weather? What's up? Dr. Darren, huh? You, are you the one with like six kids or? Oh, okay, cool. Um, you talk about the weather, you try and find, oh, did we just gain rapport there, by the way? Who, did we, did him and I just connect? No. Not at the level that I would have. Why? Because I was wrong. I tried to like engage him on something and I was off, man. I was like, oh crap, now I gotta like find, oh, what else do I say to him that's gonna make him like me? Do, 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 do. And we're gonna try and gain rapport. This sucks. I hate these people. <laughs> Why do we always get these stupid people anyway in here? John, I've been telling you about it, but no, I, and I'm not talking to you at all. Uh, <laughs> um, no, because this is what happens. We're like trying to gain rapport with people. We only have so much of time. They got stick crap in their mouth. I got 45 people talking to my ear, and I got to get rapport. So how the hell are you going to talk about stuff that, and you have to find stuff in common, right? It's hard sometimes. Would you agree with that? Would you also agree with me that there's a certain percentage of the people who walk through your door who you just like instantly connect with, and there's like other people you're like, oh my God, where are these people coming from, dad? <laughs> Right, so would you like to know some of the, the th not 100% of the time, but like they're pretty darn close. 
of how to like bridge that gap? Okay, cool.